Have you ever seen this symbol and wondered what it meant? Well, let me explain. It's telling us that the quavers or eighth notes in this piece are to be played swung. Now, what does it mean to be played swung? Well, first of all, we need to know what it means to play them straight, that is, normally. Here is a C major scale notated with quavers or eighth notes, and we're going to play it straight. We're going to play it normally. Let's do that and see how it sounds. Now let's play the exact same scale with quavers again, except this time our quavers will be swung. I'm sure you recognise the characteristic swing rhythm that we're talking about here. It's this long, short, long, short rhythm. A really good recent example of swung quavers is in the Billie Eilish song, Happier Than Ever. Let's have a listen. Now let's listen to it with straight quavers. It completely changes the feel of the melody. There really is a lot of power in these swung quavers. Now let's go back to the symbol at the beginning of the video and let's see how that relates to this rhythm. We get to this rhythm via the use of a triplet. So what's a triplet? A triplet is where we play three notes over the duration of time where we normally play two notes. So here is a crotchet divided into two quavers. And here is our triplet where it's divided into three quavers. And to show we have a triplet, we put this number three over the top of the notes and usually a bracket as well. Once we have three quavers, thanks to our triplet, well then we could group those quavers in different ways, one of which will give us our swung rhythm. We can add the first two quavers together, giving us a crotchet or quarter note, and then we have one quaver or eighth note left over. And that will give us our swung feel. That gives us this long, short rhythm. Today's song is in the key of F major, and that gives us these seven diatonic triads here. But I've also used some non-diatonic chords here as well for some more interesting harmony. And actually, we often have both genders of chords. And by that, I mean we have an A minor and the A major, a D minor and the D major. OK, now it's time for today's song. This is song 13 out of 100. And this song is called What I Thought Of You Mattered. What I thought of you mattered, just a bit. we have it song 13 out of 100 done and what did I learn from this song were well, quite a lot about harmony and rhythm so let's talk about something that combines both of those things let's talk about harmonic 
rhythm. Now, harmonic rhythm or harmonic tempo is just the speed or rate at which we change chords. Now, so far during this quest to write 100 songs, I'm pretty sure that every single song I've written changes chords once every bar, and I wanted to mix that up. So today's song, I mainly change chords twice every bar. Thus, that gives us a faster harmonic rhythm. Now, what I did notice was when I went to the next section of music and I went to one chord per bar again, it suddenly felt much slower and sluggish, even though it was the same tempo. And the reason for that is because even though it was the same tempo, the harmonic rhythm had halved. So that was something I became aware of. I also today want to talk about harmony, because in this song we have quite a few non-diatonic chords. We have two secondary dominants and we also have an augmented chord. But when I listened to it, it didn't sound like it was that non-diatonic as a piece of music. So I was a bit curious about that and I think I know why. And it's because the melody is entirely diatonic. It's just that that melody is sometimes supported with non-diatonic chords. And I think that got rid of, got rid, sorry, of some of the foreignness or otherness. Now if the melody had non-diatonic notes in it, I'm sure that would sound more foreign. It's not that one is right and one is wrong. We can do whatever we want in music. We just want to be aware of these things. Now today we also spoke about swung quavers. If you could think of any songs or pieces of music that use swung quavers that you really like, please pop them in the comments because I'd really like to know what they are. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you got something out of it. If you did, please like and subscribe. And please join me in the next video and the next song.